thermal bridging. A thermal bridge, also called a cold bridge or heat bridge, is an area of an object, frequently a building, which has a significantly higher heat transfer than the surrounding materials, resulting in an overall reduction in thermal insulation of the object or building. It's easy to look at the R value rating of a material and assume that our entire wall assembly matches it uniformly. But when you factor in the thermal bridges caused by framing materials and any discontinuities in the wall structure, you can also quickly deduce that this is not the case. It doesn't take expensive equipment or an engineer to identify a thermal bridge in a home. Run your hand along your walls on a really cold day, they'll find you. This isn't only an issue of heat loss and the higher bills that will come with it, it's also about comfort and quality of life. On really cold days, it can make being too close to walls quite unpleasant, rendering part of your home somewhat unusable at times. Wood, metal and concrete in exterior walls acts as thermal bridges, conducting far more heat than the insulation on either side of them. But with most types of wall assemblies, we have little choice but to use some kind of heat conducting material as wall frames, foam studs wouldn't carry much of a load. What you can do is factor that in during the design phase so you achieve the actual wall performance you want. Installing R2.0 vats of insulation with R0.4 wood studs on either side results in a wall that performs closer to R1.0 or even lower, depending on the amount of studs. The true or effective R value of a wall is further impacted by the installation of windows and doors. If you ran an energy simulation model to find out how well a wall would perform but you neglected to calculate thermal bridges, you'd be trying to solve a math equation without using all the variables and your conclusions would simply be wrong. Thermal bridge-free construction. Be conscious of the use and type of exterior framing members. Some of the wood used in exterior framing can be safely eliminated, such as headers or non-load bearing walls. Avoid metal fasteners of any kind that span the entire wall assembly. Leave metal stud cavities on exterior walls empty and instead use the money you would have spent on the bats to thicken up a seamless layer of board insulation. The growing popularity of metal studs. Metal studs are becoming more commonplace in residential construction and not always with great results. Some builders love them, and for the interior walls that's fine, but the energy performance of buildings that trade out wood for metal on exterior walls can take a serious hit when we ignore thermal bridging. Metal conducts heat so easily that there's really little point in putting insulation on either side of it. It is estimated that metal studs with bats in the cavities can reduce the overall performance of that insulation by 60 to 70% or more.